All right, good day, yogis. This is Stephen Chang coming to you live from Simha Yoga Lab in Jersey City, New Jersey. Please visit my website at simhayoga.com and there you can find my full streaming schedule as well as my payment information for Venmo and for PayPal. My preferred way of payment is through Venmo and my handle is Simha Yoga Lab and the four digit ID code is 8096 if you're prompted for verification. Classes are $10 and if you're having a difficult time right now, $5 is fine. Please share with your friends and repost on um, your social media platforms. Um, today's class is basics. Um, before we do anything else, let's everyone make sure that you have a blanket or um, a towel, a thick blanket or towel. Um, we're going to do a lot of stretches today with the assist of um, something uh, that is cushiony, that is also thick. Um, so go ahead uh, while I'm talking. If you don't have something with you, go ahead and run for something. <coughs> Excuse me. So the story is this. Um, this morning I happened to be coming to the studio and I ran into a student. And she happened to tell me that she's experiencing some mid back pains, not lower back pains, not upper back or the neck or shoulders, but mid back pains. So we kind of like discuss a couple of things and um, I'm not a doctor, so make sure you are aware of that and, and please note that I'm not a doctor. But um, based on my own experience and kind of what she is um, describing, um, we both have come to the conclusion that perhaps it is a postural issue. Um, I myself have experienced um, certain types of mid-back pains and I also feel that it is just a matter of circumstance, bad postures, or just kind of like behaviorally how I like to take my posture, right? So these are some things that we can all pay additional attention to on our everyday life um, beyond just yoga practice, right? So what yoga does for us is it helps us through alignment, through movement, uh, help us to bring awareness to our posture, our physical bodies, right? And so um, what I'm going to concentrate on today is back stretches, uh, rotations through the spine and through uh, this type of movement hope to bring um, a certain release, a certain um, um, extension and contraction obviously where uh, everything is by yin and yang, right? You have a positive, your negative, you have your um, extension and your contraction, right? So everything is um, in balance. So what I hope to do today in particular, and this is something that we all experience one way or another, is just compression and pain that happens sometimes when you take poor posture. Um, I will zero in on a few things in particular because that's kind of what I think this one particular person I ran into really needs today, but it's something that we can all benefit from. So um, let this class in particular today be um, more targeted, okay? So coming to comfortable seat. For those of you who have a uh, tighter hips or lower back, please elevate and hopefully you have your blankets or your um, towels. Um, so you can always elevate with those things as well. It doesn't have to be a block. It can also be a, a, a book, right? A, 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 a thick book that can help you elevate a few inches away from the floor. All right, sitting up tall, palms face up. And for those of you who are new to my practice, welcome. If you're working with any kind of injuries or limitations, please be mindful about all of that. So I'll be talking a lot about alignment and our uh, limitations and what we should and shouldn't do uh, in this particular practice. So uh, pay attention to those things. Palms face up. Fingers come together and move your thumb and index fingers touching. And all the other fingers are extended, palms facing up. Allow the shoulders to broaden as you contract your shoulders back a little bit. Sitting up tall around through your seat and reach the crown of the head up toward the sky. Lips touching, regulating your breath by breathing only through your nose. 
and start to let your inhales even out with your exhales. Three arms together, inhale. Purifying the space in which you practice yoga. Call and response. Om Pavitra Ha. Om Pavitra Ha. Pavitra Va. Pavitra Va. Sarva Vashna. Sarva Vashna. Kato Piva. Kato Piva. Yaha Smarit. Yaha smarit, pudri kaksha, pudri kaksha, sapakya, sapakya, pihyandraha, pihyandraha, suchihi, suchihi. Starting to open the eyes and let the palms face up. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, right ear to right shoulder, right hand to the left side. Elongate through the left side of the neck. Chin toward the right shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the right hand. Left ear to the left shoulder, left hand to the right side. Chin toward the left shoulder. Release, back to center, drop the left hand, chin toward the chest. Big circles with the head in one direction. Ear to one side, pull it back. Opposite side, row the center. Take a few more rounds in that same direction. Take one more giant circle, chin back toward the chest, and pause. Taking the opposite direction, moving just as slowly. And then one more giant circle, chin back toward the chest. And then lift the chin parallel to the floor and into the spine. Coming off your blocks, extend the legs forward, separating your feet. Let the hands support to either side of you, turning your toes toward each other. And then roll out, draw in, roll out, draw in. Outer rotation, circling the ankles. Take it back center, switch them around, inner rotations. And back to center again, cross your shins, opposite shin on top. Raise your arms up high, extend, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back to center, arms up. Exhale, twist to your left. You know, back to center, we're going to twist over to the right again. You're going to walk your right hand a little bit further back, I'll give you a side view. Walk your right hand a little bit further back, and also lean the torso back a little bit. But when you lean back, try not to dump the weight into your mid-back, but instead, keep a relatively straight spine, 
but just kind of tilt it and angle back. You can support with the left hand to your right leg again, and then from there, twist. You can bend your right elbow. So when you lean back a little bit this way, you might get a different spot along the spine, along the back. So uh, getting a different spot might help you release something in a different place. Take back to center. Arms up. Exhale, twist your left. So start out vertical. Walk your left hand slightly further back. Try to maintain that straight spine. Just uh, your slanted. And then bend your left elbow to twist. Take back to center, arms up. Exhale, side bends, right hand to the floor, left arm overhead. Take back to center, exhale, other side. Take it back to center, we'll side bend again, right hand to the floor, left arm up. Take the side bend. Then you're going to let the left shoulder draw down a little bit so that you can angle the left arm to the uh, left hand corner of the room and then extend as you let the left shoulder drop a little bit. Right? So now you're getting a different spot along the mid and upper back. So going into your serratus anterior, deltoids. All right, take it back to stack. Take it back up, side bend to your left. Once you have your side bend, let the right shoulder start to descend. The right fingertips reaching to the right hand corner of the room, and then let that right shoulder, right arm, uh, mid back, shoulder blades area, serratus anterior, deltoids, all that stuff. Let that feel more extension. Take it back to stack, come up to vertical, extend the legs forward, and then exhale, reach forward, grabbing your feet, your ankles or your shins, right? So you want to find lengthiness with the spine. If you need to bend your knees a little bit to keep that lengthiness, then go ahead and do that. On the exhale, hinge of the hips to take it forward. Take it back up, separate your feet a little bit wider. Take the left hand to the floor for support. Sitting up tall, raise your right arm to about parallel with the floor and the right elbow can stay bent and the hand can be slightly soft, right? Draw the right, uh, right elbow back in space to open. Exhale, twist your left. So you're working on the, the mid-spinal twist. Inhale, draw the right arm back. Go a little bit deeper back, right? And then exhale, twist a little bit deeper to your left. All right, go at your own pace. You may not be able to go too deeply. Draw the right elbow back, twist your left. Stay here and twisting. Then extend the right arm out, reach out, and twist some more with the right arm extending. So there's a sensational difference between bending at the elbow and extending the arm fully, right? Take it back to center, switch sides. Right hand to floor for support, sit up tall. Left arm about parallel to floor, left elbow's bent, and your fingertips are pretty soft. Draw the left elbow back to wind it up. Exhale, rotate to twist to the right. Inhale, take it a little bit from the back if you have the range. Exhale, twist a little even deeper to the right. Inhale, take it back further. Exhale, twist, stay here, twisting. Then extend the left arm out fully, and then using that direction of energy to twist even more. Take it back to center, arms up. Exhale, reach forward, grab your big toe, re-lengthen on the inhale. Lead through the heart center, reaching forward for the forward fold.
Now keep this forward fold. I'll give you a side view. Keep this forward fold. Concentrate on your mid back. You're going to round just your mid back as you draw the chin toward the chest. Broaden the upper back by wrapping the shoulders around so you feel a broadness through the upper back. Then take the opposite, which is reach heart center forward, take the gaze forward, and maybe even gently up. So now you're taking a back bend. Exhale, wrap the back through the mid back. Wrap the, uh, wrap the wings of your shoulders, chin toward the chest. Reach through the heart center forward, look slightly forward and up into a back bend. Come back to neutral, draw all the way back up. All right, support with the hands, take the feet a little bit wider. Walk your hands to the left side, left hand to support. Right arm up. So, uh, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slightly twist your left. Reach forward. You can grab your foot, your ankles, or your shins. Whatever you can hold on to. Re-lengthen. Exhale, take it forward. Forward fold. All right, so we're still relatively early in the practice. So if you're not super warmed up yet to take it um, deeper than you would normally go or like, that's okay, right? So we're going to go a little bit more kind of therapeutically. You don't need to take it to your deepest extension. Instead, I want you to feel for sensation instead of um, a holistic movement um, and therapeutic movement. Make sure you're feeling for what feels good versus what feels my deepest that I've ever taken something, right? So. I want you to feel good today. Let's work with therapeutics. And take it back up. Square back to center. Go the other direction. Right hand to the floor. Left arm is up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Take it forward. Grabbing your foot, your ankles, or your shins. Once you have that, re-lengthen on the inhale. Exhale. Go a little bit deeper. So as you go deeper, I want you to feel for what feels really right to me. What feels really appropriate because I'm really tight there. Right, whatever there is. Right, sometimes it could be that when you go into this forward fold, it's too much pulling on your hamstrings. And when it's pulling on your hamstrings, it restricts you and forces you not to um, go as deeply forward, right? If that's the case, Maybe think about the slightest bending of the knees. When that happens, maybe you can go forward a little bit more deeply. Right, one way to help you keep that bend of the knee is to take the blanket. Right? When you have this restriction, it forces you to bend. Right? So that's a very nice way to force yourself to do something without you actually kind of doing it on your own. You use an object to help you perform that function. All right, start to take it back up. Square back to center. Hands to either side of you, and the fingertips are rotating outwardly. So either side of you, maybe slightly behind you. Be on your fingertips, lengthen on the inhale. Broaden your shoulders by drawing your shoulders back, so now you have an upper back bend and a broadening of your chest. Gaze is forward. Try not to look up with the chin pointing up, but a neutral spine. Lean forward with that straighter spine, Pressing into your fingers and extending to your arms to give you the support and the resistance. Once you get to a certain point and you have your maximum, stay there. And then walk your hands forward. Inhale, re-lengthen. Exhale, can you go a little bit deeper? So rethink, right? If you are rounding the back too much, right? So for, for now, let's not round the back, but instead, keep a more neutral spine. Right, if we decide to take the arching and the um, uh, back stretch, we wanna be very intentional. Not because 
are limited, we are limited in our, our flexibility and we round um, as a consequence, right? We don't want to do that. We want to make every movement intentional. All right, you're gonna walk your hands back in just a little bit. Then again, leading with the heart center forward, draw the shoulders back and lift the chin. So now you're going into a back bend through the heart center, leaning forward. Right, I'll give you a side view again here. I want to take that into the opposite, which is the roundedness of the back, but through the mid back, right? So think about the mid back pointing back in space. You're wrapping the shoulders around to broaden your shoulders and then the chin toward the chest. Right? So your arms are active, your fingers are pressing down. You're leaning your mid back back in space and you're rounding the upper back very intentionally. Let's take it again to the back bend. Lift back to neutral. The heart center leaning forward. Shoulders drawn back. Gaze is slightly forward and the chest is slightly lifted. Chin is slightly lifted. So it's a back bend. It may not be a very deep back bend, but oh, you feel it, right? You feel the broadening of your shoulders. You feel the heart center moving forward and the mid-back is compressing a little bit in this back bend. Alright, let's take it the opposite. Roll the mid-back back in space. Really press into your fingertips or reach the mid-back. And then rounding the upper back, wrapping the shoulders, chin toward the chest. A very intentional mid and upper back bend. Release, take it to neutral. Then walk your hands over to the left side. Left hand to the floor, right arm is up. Lean forward again. This time you're going to take the right hand outside of the left leg or on the left foot of the left leg. Anywhere to outside the leg. The purpose of this is so that you can walk your left hand further back, rotate further to your left, and then lean it forward. If you have a little more in you, re-lengthen. Twist even further to the left, and then lean forward. So again, we're going into the mid-thoracic twist in order to get mobility and openness into the spine. Start to release, take it back up. Rotate, square back to center, take it over to the right side, right hand to the floor, left arm is up. Inhale, lengthen the spine, slowly rotate to the right, lean forward, grab the outside of the right foot or anywhere on the outside of the right leg, relengthen your spine, exhale, reach forward as you twist to the right a little bit. So you're beginning to feel for that mid thoracic twist. Alright, so you can stay here, or if you have a little bit more in you, walk your right hand in front of the back, re-lengthen, twist, and fold. Start to release, take it back up, square back to center. To the best of your abilities, go even wider if you have it. So the trick is, if you take the hands to the floor, lift the seat up, let the feet go wider, and take the seat down, you can go a little bit wider. All right? So this time, again, you're going to walk your hands forward. All right? So you don't have to go that far, to the point where you're beginning to feel for the inner thigh stretch and the hip crease and to the groin. Then you're going to walk over to the left side. Right, so settle into that movement. Then, if you have the mobility to take the left arm down, take the left arm down. If you do not, keep your left hand to the floor. Then you're gonna take the right fingertips and crawl the right fingertips further forward. This will give you a little bit more extension through the right side 
and a slight rotation to your left. Right? So if you have the forearm down to the floor, you really feel it, right? If not, again, you can take the left arm up. Now, for those of you who are lucky enough to have a block, here's where you block. Right? Also, I guess you can use your mic as well. So if you have your block, you can take it like that. Or, if you have your blank, right, blanket or a towel. So this gives you elevation, which makes it easier for you to reach the floor, right? As opposed to you reaching for the floor, the floor is reaching you. All right. Begin to walk it back up to center. And then walk your hands over to the right side. Crawl the hands slightly further forward. Stay there and adjust to that stretch. Then either keeping the right hand as is and crawl the left fingertips out. Or if you have the range, take the right forearm down and crawl the left fingertips out. Take that. Or again, your other alternatives if you have a block or if you have a blanket. Right, so there is a slight thoracic twist, mid back rotation stretch, or mid spine rotation, mid back stretch. Start to release. Walk it back in. Support the inner thighs above the knees, right? Then as you pull up, your knees will bend, take the soles of feet together, and take the feet slightly further forward. You can grab the inner feet, or you can thread the arms underneath, and then inhale length and exhale. You can round your back as much as you want in this one. This is a much more easy forward fold, a much more kind of restorative forward fold. Okay, so we did a lot of work in the mid, back, um, and rotation of the spine. So just let all that energy release here and all that uh, work release here. And start to release and take it back up. Bend your knees. Pivot the heels to the floor, separate your feet about mat's width, support the hands behind you. Let's windshield wiper your knees side to side. The next time you drop your knees over to the left side, keep the uh, knees over to the left side and sit up top. You're going to draw the right heel back. So you're going to think about this. Left leg, 90 degrees. So you want to set your left thigh, square the torso to face over the left leg. Take that left leg to 90 degrees and flex your left foot. Then rotate to look at the right leg. The right knee should be lined up with the hip and take that right leg 90 degrees. So 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Square over your left leg, support with your hands. Inhale, lengthen. You're sitting to the outer left leg, outer left hip. Start to lean forward. Lean forward about halfway. Keep a straight spine. So try not to round. Try not to over arch. Keep a neutral. So if you want to start again, neutral spine. Support with your hands. Lean forward. Keep it there. Reach your right hand further forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crawl the right fingertips further forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crawl, right fingertips even further forward. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crawl, right fingertips further forward. Keep it there. So you should feel a nice stretch to the outer left leg, outer left hip. Maybe you feel extension with your spine. Maybe a little bit of stretch through the upper back on the right side, but it's not that much sensation right now. 
Then keep it in the torso as is. You're gonna walk your right hand into support, take the left forearm down. Then reach your right hand out again and rotate to left some more. Adjust your left hand further to the left. Rotate some more, reach your right hand even further back to the left. So you're gonna keep going progressively until you reach your max. And for me, reaching to my max is almost all the way back behind me. And then crawl the right fingertips out and forward. So just like we did earlier, right? One forearm down, right uh, the other arm reaching out. So you're just taking a rotation with the spine and you're reaching back in space. So you're getting a nice thoracic twist again, extension through the outer right side. Walk it back to center, lift back up, hand supporting behind you, walk your feet in a little bit, lift back up to your um, um, windshield wiper, let's windshield wiper side to side again, and right, this time I'm going to be in the same orientation as you, facing forward. Right, so the next time you drop your knees over to the right side, Sit up tall. You should be slightly rotated to the right. So when you're rotating to the right, let's set up your right leg. Your right knee should be lined up with the right hip. Find 90 degrees with that right leg. Your left leg should be 90 degrees as well. Left knee and left hip lines up. And then you have the vertical line there. So 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Then square the torso to face over the right leg. Right hand to support, left hand forward. Start to walk your right hand very back. You know what, I'm gonna face this way so that you can see me back. Okay, straight spine here. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, go a little bit deeper. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, go even deeper. So here is where you feel for the outer right leg, outer right hip. Keep that lengthiness of the spine. Start to walk your left hand to the right side. Adjust your right hand. Walk your left hand a little bit more. Adjust your right hand. Keep going in that direction until you reach a maximum. So for me, again, I'm rotated almost 180 degrees to look behind me. Then, take the right forearm down, extend the left arm out, and keep reaching out for the thoracic twist, lower back stretch, mid back stretch. Position. 
So the feet are pressing up with the legs and pulling down with the arms and your shoulders. Keep that oppositional energy happening to your opening up the hips as well as flattening your lower back. All right, the soles of the, together, the feet together, grab the upper feet. As you lift the head and the upper back, you can round your upper back. Keep drawing your feet toward the nose, nose and toward your feet. All right, and then eventually, maybe your toes reaching your third eye. Start to release down, take the feet to the floor, bridge pose, bending at your knees, walk your heels in, your feet are by hips width distance, a little bit wider than hips width actually. With your fingertips, feel for the back of the heels, then press your hands down to the floor and your arms to the floor, and then press your heels down to lift the seat. Let's roll up and down the spine. On the exhale, roll down from the upper spine, Mid spine, lower spine, but you're not touching your tail down. Still hovering, and then you're going to lift back up. So rolling from the bottom upwards, we'll take that a few times. Exhale, roll from the top, middle, toward the lower back. Lift from the lower back, middle, and toward the top. Let's do that three times. Three more times. Lower, lift. Lower, so you're articulating your spine, and lift. Lower, and lift. Stay here lifting and bridge. Press strongly if your heels down, lift the seat up higher. You're standing on your shoulders and the back of the head. And slowly start to release all the way down. Separate your feet wider about max width distance. Drop your knees over to the right side. Then take the right ankle on top of the left knee and press down. Make sure you flex your right foot strongly so you're protecting the right ankle, right knee. As you put weight to the outer left leg, you should be getting a nice stretch through the outer left leg, outer left hip, outer left side but you're also going into gentle rotation of your spine. Step the right foot back down, take the knees back up, drop the knees over to the left side, and then left ankle on top of the right knee, make sure you flex your left foot, protecting the ankle joint and the knee joint of the left leg, Pressing down to the outer right knee, outer right leg gives you more stretch through the outer right leg, outer right hip, and outer right side and ribs. Step the left back down, take the knees back in towards center, and then this time again, hug the knees in. Roll to the left side. Use your hand, your arms to the left side of you. Press your right hand down to lift up. Okay, so you're going to take the blankets or your towels. I want you to roll it up pretty thick, like this. What is that about? I don't know. Three or four inches thick. Hopefully, a blanket or your um, or your towel is firm enough because I want a lot of thickness here because I want you to lay sideways along this thickness and then let the shoulder, right? So I'm laying on my right side, stretching my left. So I want you to feel the thickness in the mid um, spine, which is right where the bottom of the rib cage is, right? 
So that is your mid spine or so. I want you to reach your right arm out and rest your right side of the head to the arm. You see how my spine is curved, right? So in this curvature, I'm stretching the left side. So on, along the spine, it's my left ribs that are expanding. So looking like this. The left ribs are doing this, right? Because I'm curving, um, I'm concurving on the right side and convexing on the left, right? So this is what I'm doing with my spine. Right? So you can start with your left hand supporting like this. And just kind of get used to the sensation of all that. Right? If this is too deep, you can try to flatten it out a little bit more. If this is too deep, you can walk it on in a little bit more. And then just release accordingly. Right? You might even be able to take the right elbow up, up, this is kind of nice, and support with the right hand this way. Um, I'm still getting some um, some stretch to the outer left side. I'm also losing balance here. Right, if you're losing balance, you can separate your feet a little bit. That will give you the balance. Um, by elevating this way, it's making me less balanced. All right, so I'm still getting a milder side stretch versus this side stretch is really nice and really deep for me. So you can use your left hand to support here, or if you have really um, a good amount of extension and you want to get deep into it, you can extend the left arm forward, overhead, right? And then you can tip the left fingertips to the floor and giving you a really nice stretch here. I'm even going to point the toes and get really long. And alternatively, for those of you who are not getting enough, you can always make it a little harder, right? Go even thicker. Right? This is kind of extreme. Right? You see how much higher I am here. It's definitely a lot more um, stretch. So for the purpose of today, Right? You don't have to go for a super deep stretch. You want to go for enough for you to feel something. I hope you're still holding, right? Um, this requires a little bit of holding for you to get the benefits. You know what? For better balance, separate your feet. I want you to be balanced here. I don't want you to struggle with balancing here. And so, if you've been with me for a while, you hear me say this a lot, which is flexibility requires for you to hold the pose for a while. All right. So in the yasa practice. Oftentimes we're moving pretty quickly, and that part of it has to do with heat. When you move quickly, you build a lot of heat, and heat actually brings a lot of flexibility. That's definitely true, right? But at the same time, that might feel really good to lubricate your joints and move around and build your heat that way. But for really deep flexibility, you have to take the poses and you have to just hold it. Right? So sometimes you see, like for example, if you ever watch ballet dancers and they're doing their stretches, they're not moving that quickly, right? When they're doing their deep stretches, they're holding it for a while. There's a reason for that. Your muscles need a little bit of time to release, right? And as you hold the poses, you will feel that you get deeper and deeper by sinking into the poses, right? So it takes time for you to build the flexibility. So you really have to hold it. Right? And then once you hold it for a while, right, you get that flexibility. You feel like, oh, I have a little more in me. Then you reach even more strongly, right? I'm even more active in pressing the fingertips down, crawling the fingertips out to traction. 
So we're getting a really nice deep left side stretch here. Let's take three more breaths here. So first, support with your hands, take the legs back together. You might even, even want to bend them, right? Then press your left hand down, start to lift up, walk the right hand in, support with the right hand, take it all the way back up. Square back to center, right? So let's um, neutralize your spine. Take the hands um, uh, to either side of your hips and support it with your palms or your fingers. Lift up, broaden your shoulders. Take into a back bend, exhale, round spine. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. Come back to neutral and then twist to the right, twist to your left, twist right, twist left one more time, twist right. Twist left. So um, you might still feel that stretch happening, but it's certainly more neutral than when you first came out of it, right? All right, so let's take it to the other side. I'm not sure if I should show you my back or flip. You know what? I'm going to show you my back side so you can compare the difference, all right? So now we're stretching um, the right side bodies and compressing the left, all right? So, Lower the ribs, the left ribs to the structure. Walk your left hand further out, support with your right hand. All right, support with the legs if you need. All right, so first I took it a little bit easier. All right, I started out differently, but still, I held it for a little bit here. So I'm gonna go a little bit easier. Hands supporting the head, right hand to the floor. Right? If you feel so inclined, maybe you can activate your right arm by reaching out. So this way, it is a milder stretch um, to the ribs and to your spine. But maybe the right arm reaching overhead will give you overall a muscular stretch nicely. Right? Or not, support with the right hand instead. Then start to lower the left arm. Rest your head, left side of the head to the arm, and reach your right arm forward. And we'll just hold it here for a little while. All right, so again, I had said, if you're stacking your legs one over the other, and it's difficult for you to balance, you can separate your feet. All right, I'm taking my left leg forward, right leg back. opposite works as well. So whichever feels naturally a little bit more supportive for you. Just keep extending through the right fingertips forward. If you touch your right hand to the floor, maybe keep traction in your fingertips further from the back. Keep the legs supporting. Okay, so we're doing so much today to the um, to the torso, right? In general, so all the structures within the torso, your ribs, right, your spine, um, the muscular structures of serratus, uh, deltoids, um, shoulders, right, and all those muscular structures, as well as the skeletal structures. Right? We're not only doing stretches, we're doing rotations as well. Right? Extensions, contractions, rotations. Let's take three more breaths here. If you have even more, just keep even more active. And reach, reach, reach.
All right, let's begin to break. First, walk your right hand back in. Then, take the legs back together, maybe you bend your knees. Press into your right hand, draw the left arm in. Press into your left hand, come all the way back up. And then extend the legs forward, support with your hands on the side. Lift up the back bend, gently looking up. Exhale, round the spine, let's do that three times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. In a left. Exhale. Come back to neutral. Twist left. Twist right. Twist left. Twist right. Twist left. Twist right. Come back to neutral. Arms up high. Forward fold. Inhale, take it back up. See this final twist? Keep the left leg extended, right leg over your left, right hand behind you. Left arm is up and twist. Right, if the elbow to the top of the right leg is difficult for you, you can wrap the arm instead, or you can take the hand to the knee instead. You just want your spine to be pretty vertical as you rotate. Inhale, back center. Exhale, counter twist to your left. Take back center, switch legs, right leg up forward, left leg over. Left hand behind you, right arms up on the inhale. Exhale, twist to your left. So again, uh, pretty vertical line with your torso, seat evenly grounded. If the right elbow to top of left leg doesn't work so well, right arm around the left leg, or the right hand around the left knee. Inhale back center, exhale come to twist. Inhale back to center. Soles of feet together, knees apart. Inhale lengthen, shoulders broaden. Exhale, keep the lengthness as you take it forward. If you want to uh, press your elbows to the inner thighs, that will give you more hip opening. Lean forward. Straight your spine if you can. Begin to take it back up. Slide the legs forward. Again, coming onto your back with your hands supporting. Slide the hands out. Lower arm to the back. Left knee comes in. Right hand to left knee. Twist to the right. Take it back to center, switch legs, switch arms, and twist to your left. Take it back to center, hugging both knees in. Step the feet to the floor, slide the legs forward, separate your feet, toes are turned out, arms alongside, body palms face up. Let everything go, let the floor support. Shavasana, final relaxation.
Begin to take your breath back in. Moving the fingers and your toes. Reach the arms overhead, stretching in opposite directions. When you're ready, you roll over to the right side and come up to a comfortable cross leg position. Reconnecting to an even seat, a lengthy spine, shoulders broad, breath deep, and let the neck be free. Inhale for all. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Be well. See you soon.